This is the explanation video to the tic-tac-toe game app. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start from the start. So what we're doing here is we're defining a variable called active player. And we set that to be equal to one, which is cross. And throughout this app, we're going to alternate between one, which is cross and two, which is not. This is just to keep track of whose turn it is. Here, game state, uh, we're defining a variable with just zeros. And these zeros, each of these buttons have their place right here. So this one is this one, this one is this one. And zero basically means that no brick has been laid there or no game piece has been laid there yet. And when a game piece is laid there, we're changing the zero to either a one if a cross has been laid there or two if not has been laid there. And here we have our winning combinations. So zero, one, two, zero, one, two is a winning combination and one, four, seven, let's see, one, uh, this is one, one, four, seven, which is this one. All of these represent winning combinations that if they come true, we have a winner. And game is active, just keep track of if the game has been finished or not, if there has been a winner or there has been a draw. Then we're importing the label, which, which just displays some feedback to the user who has won. Then here we have an action. So this is the action that is called each time our user presses one of these nine buttons. And when he does, when the user or she, when the user clicks on one of these buttons, we are first checking who, uh, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, let's see, game state, okay. So we're checking if it's an empty space, first of all, and if the game is active. If the game isn't active, we're not going to do any of this. And also if there isn't an empty space, which means there isn't a zero. We're also not going to do this. We're only going to do this, this if the game is active and there is an empty space represented by a zero. So that's what we're checking for here, if there's a zero there. Then we're saying, remove the zero and replace it with the active player. So either one or two. That's what we're doing right here. Uh, let's see, that's what we're doing right here. And if it was a cross, that we're, then we're uh, setting the image of this button to be a cross. If it was a knot, we're setting the image of the button to be a knot. And yeah, that's basically what we're doing there. And also each time a, a piece, a game piece has been laid, we're checking if there has been a winner. And in order to do that, we run through all of these combinations right here. So first of all, we're checking combination number zero. So we're basically taking each one of these arrays right here. And what we're doing is we're seeing if this one, so I would suggest that you take a look at this uh, on yourself, on your own, but I will try to explain it and see how much I can get out of this. So what, I, what we're doing is we're, for example, let's take an example, let's see, we're have come to this array right here and now we are going to check because for combination and winning combination means that we're first taking this array so first combination is equal to this array then combination is equal to this array then combination is equal to this array so that's what we're basically doing and if we on looping through three times are stuck with this array right here so combination is equal to this array right here we are checking if this number six uh, so this one, I think, this one is equal to place number seven, which means this one, and place number eight, this one. So if all of these are the same number, then we have a winner. And that's the same logic behind each one of these. So if it's zero, so this one is equal to this one, four, number four, and is equal to number eight, which is this one, or this one. If those are the same numbers, we also have a winner. So that's what we're doing here. We're checking if there are uh, the same numbers in each of these arrays right here. And if there is, if there's an array that contains all of the same numbers, we have a winner and we're setting the game state or the game is active to be false. We have ended the game because we have a winner. And just to show this to the user, we're checking who has won. So we're... Um, basically checking who's, uh, who 
has one here and then we're changing the label to reflect that before we display the label and the button that enables the user to play again. Also, if this didn't, uh, and also each time we press, our user presses a button, we're also checking if all the bricks have been laid, all, uh, all of these spaces are taken. And if they are, uh, we're first setting the game state active to be false and then we're running through to see if there is a zero left and if it is then game state is active and we're breaking the loop but if it isn't the game state will still be false which means this code here will be called which sets the text to be it was a draw and we're displaying the play again button and the label so that's basically what we're doing right there and with a play again button we are resetting the game state we are saying that the game is active again, so let's play. And we're setting the active player to the default number, which is 1. And we're also hiding the play again button and the label. And in order to clear out all of these buttons, we're running through all of the buttons. And we do that with the tags that we gave each button. So this button has a tag of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and we're running through each of the buttons and setting them to be to be a button. So we're basically converting the view with the tag i to be a button so that we can do this right here to set the image to nil. So that's all the code. Make sure that you use the comment section actively so if there's something you want to know or something that wasn't clear, feel free to ask in the comment section below other than that, congratulations for finishing this app. This is an awesome step in your developer progress. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for also clicking the subscribe button as I know you will. And uh, once again, thank you for watching.